the best advice I've ever had is, we are no better than anybody else. A lawyer is someone who understands the law and who is able to use that to answer questions for his client and help the client. A good lawyer is someone who understands the law and is able to use that to help the client, but also to explain to the client what the next step is. A great lawyer is someone who understands not just the law, but also the client, and also society, the bigger picture, the court, and understands where everything fits, which means a great lawyer has to know much more than just what's in the law books. A great lawyer should be confident, meticulous. So if one is confident, I always feel that half the battle is won. So if you're confident, you portray yourself confidently, and even when you're submitting, uh, you do it confidently, um, that, that really helps. And the good lawyer should be meticulous. We, we can't be you know, leaving out some things because as you may know, one word may change the, the construction of the sentence totally. So what makes a great lawyer? So someone who understands other um, human beings. So basically someone that has empathy. So it will mean things like, you know, you understand where your client's counterparty is coming from, why they're so angry. So this will actually help you build your client's case because you know how to address what the other side wants and what they're looking for and why, why do they feel this way. Patience, I think, is a very underrated virtue, especially with internet time and internet now, you know. Uh, two seconds, the page doesn't load, we just get angry and, and we go nuts. And I used to be like that and used to think, good God, Fari, I mean, it's just two seconds, right? You can wait for this. And that's when I started to realise, no, I've got to take a step back. I've got to slow things down a bit. And for me, above all, integrity. Integrity is the most important. All those don't matter if you're corrupt. All those don't matter if you're a liar. All those don't matter if you're a cheat. Your intelligence, your industry, your in all, all, all that's wasted. I think the substratum of all this is justice and a sense to ensure that uh, injustice uh, does not pervade in every sector of the society. For example, the very recent floods in Taman Sri Muda in Shah Alam and in Klang. Now, these people you know, have been given some pittance of money, you know, five hundred dollars or something. Some have lost their lives, some have lost their entire houses and so on. So is there a legal remedy that is amenable? And which kind of law that you were taught at school that you can harness? Sometimes it's across a few disciplines, a few subjects that you can harness to advance it. That's a challenge. And so that's how the challenge has been for me uh, all these years. And I think the, uh, there's a growing support for this kind of a, a meeting, this kind of a challenge amongst a lot of young lawyers and even some older lawyers have come forth to say, look, I want to be involved. Who do I look up to? It's actually a figure who is uh, legally trained, but uh, she's not practicing as a lawyer. So that would be uh, Michelle Obama. She actually encouraged the youth to go beyond their own uh, adverse conditions and rise above it. Basically, it means advocating for your, yourself, uh, standing up for yourself when others won't, and not letting things like you know, race, gender, or any kind of uh, disability or disadvantage uh, pull you down. Our profession here is equal to the profession elsewhere. There are, of course, those outside of the country who we can look to for, because nowadays through uh, YouTube, uh, through Facebook and so on. For example, the Supreme Court decisions in uh, the US, when there was a challenge to the elections previously, the Supreme Court was there and how they conducted their cases. The same number of years, we have gone to the same institutions, we have gone to inns of court, and we are at par with them. But the fact is that they are a useful sounding board when we look at the arguments that are made. 
I've got lots of role models and all my role models basically have the common essential character traits of um, someone who is always open to being criticized. Um, I think a lot of the times, again, we forget who we are. And because we forget who we are, we think that we are beyond criticism. The first chapter of Letters to a Young Lawyer by Alan Dershowitz says basically have no heroes. I prefer looking at things that qualities that I like out of people and try to incorporate them into myself uh, and my perspective of things. The best advice I've ever had is we are no better than anybody else. It is impossible for me to be better than anybody and everybody in everything. As a lawyer, sometimes we will just want to present a solution to you. But that solution is based on your own views, um, on something that is right or wrong. So if you go and adopt that attitude in your work, you stop learning to listen to people. So listen, really listen to why they say some certain things and try to understand why um, they, took, they took a particular stance and made a particular decision. And so you always have to be very genuine in what you want to do because it will come across in everything in life, uh, not only in law, uh, but in everything that we do. So if you have that real warmness, you have that real desire to want to resolve a particular issue for somebody, that person will believe you. And I think that is something that I always remind myself um, to slow down, listen, and hopefully I come across as becoming, as being very genuine and very authentic.